everybody and welcome to Freaking Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to create the cap head look of this video game that looks like a classic Mickey Mouse animation that is pretty cool um, the only thing that you're gonna need is a classic style animation which is gonna be the hard work but probably you won't be you won't be using the this effect for an animation so it doesn't matter and also an all film grain overlay but which you can find lots and lots all over the internet, I will show you later how to get them and this is a really simple effect to do, you will see right now, I'm gonna be using this film from uh, Mickey Mouse that although it's a it's a modern time animation, it looks like that classic style that Cuphead has and it will probably be useful for what we wanna create so I'm gonna be dropping it into a new composition and look for a nice frame, maybe this one, looks okay and I always like to keep the the very main uh, layer and touch I always like to pre-compose it so that later if you want to add effects or you want to change the video you don't have to do all this process over again so just keep on move all attributes into new composition we'll call this footage so that if you later again want to make this effect again you don't have to do all the process so you just come to this pre-composition footage and you change the video so we will create now a new adjustment layer I always like adjustment layers you know so that we keep the each layer separately um, I'm gonna add um, fast blur effect so that we have a little bit blurry pixels something like that too will be okay repeat edge and pixels and obviously it depends on the kind of footage that you're using it isn't the same thing if you're using a 4k footage or if you're using a 720p like I am and we will be using also a levels effect and we'll take the input black and we will put it down a little bit something like that more or less around minus 15 so that the blacks aren't totally black they have that kind of dark gray look so now we're going to pre-compose both of them um, we're gonna call this maybe um, the saturation for calling it somehow and now we're gonna take the shift channels effect we're gonna drop it into our layer and we're going to duplicate it two times so that we have three separate layers the first two we're going to set them both on add mode just like this and now oh, I just I just realized I spelled this wrong doesn't matter um, we're going to take the red full off and green full off and the second one red full off and blue full off and in the last one green full off and blue full off so that we have separate channels of uh, blue green and red because if you see an actual gameplay you can see that we have this color displacement that it's uh, it's what makes the magic the blue is a little bit displaced to the right and the red is very slightly displaced down so we're gonna make it just like that we're gonna take first the blue and we're gonna put the position maybe 45 just like that and now we're gonna take the red and we're going to very slightly move it down maybe to something like that so that we can see that it has that color displacement that is what makes the, the magic I can almost can see the, the writing here I'm gonna put it maybe three over here we can more properly see it especially in the white and so and this more or less the um, the look that we want to achieve, well actually maybe it's too much because this is a very small um, very small composition so maybe I'm going to put less values something like this looks more accurate to the video game okay just like this and now we want to add an, an all film overlay once we have this uh, RGB split first we're going to pre-compose all of this we're gonna call this RGB split because you will be able to see that we have the um, these edges over here and at the top 
because of the split that we've created. So we're just going to kill it a little bit up our footage so that those edges disappear. And now for uh, getting our footages, very simple. You just can look for all film grain, for example. And the very first well, video that you find can work. Like this one, for example, all film effect is as simple as that. But you can also go to Google and if you look for rampant media free and you click on the first link, you can put your um, your email address and your name here and you click on here to download. And once you click there, it links you to this page that has lots and lots and lots of free effect at 4K. Uh, it's really cool and this one film grunge, film effects, real clutter, it can help you on achieving a more, uh, how do you say, more realistic all film effect. But anyway, I'm going to be using this one that uh, we just found, so I'm going to be dropping it here. Okay, all film effect, I'm going to drop it on top. Oops, first I'm going to Right, right click on it, interpret footage, main, and we're going to loop it now so that you can see that it um it's over all the video and not only that partial area that we were able to see. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And now there are different ways of putting it. You can try on lighter mode, multiply, but I often like to put it on rather soft or hard light. I'm gonna try hard light because I think that this one looks cool just like that. And this was basically it. Uh, if you can see the original video, it doesn't have much more than that. It's something really simple. Now it's up to you if you want to add additional grain and so on top. That is all up to you on looking more footages, but this was the very basic way of creating the cap head effect. It's very simple, and as I told you, again, if you wanna change the video, you don't have to do everything again. Just come into this footage pro composition and change the video in here. So okay, that was everything I had to say. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you find this tutorial helpful. And please make sure that you subscribe in order to follow all the other tutorials. And let me know in the comments below if you want to know about creating a specific effect or filter from a movie or whatever. Just let me know in the comments below. So I hope that I see you again in my next tutorial. So, see ya!